I think it is a mistake to call him a philosopher, as he did not create ideas, but criticize the very basis of thought as an imposition on the human life. He continually blasted people for duplicating unoriginal ideas rather than just being themselves. He gave the people around him great relief. Therefore those who carry on his work in some way are nothing like him, they are just inspired to be more like themselves. In my opinion, some flavor of U.G. Krishnamurti lives on in Melissa Forbes, his traveling companion for many years, and in my partner Mark Whitwell, who was his friend and allowed U.G.'s influence to change how he taught yoga. I have so loved hearing Mark's and Melissa's stories about U.G. U.G. himself once mysteriously said that two people born under the sign of Venus would carry on his work, I believe it is these two. There is no one comp one arable to Krishnamurti. Krishnamurti did not accept any religion. He could recognize human traits for self-destruction. His warning was if we do not change we are heading for a catastrophe message was, analyze everything in your existence. You are your own master. Reason and logic are your driver he was not a philosopher, and as far as he was concerned he despised philosophers because they were all caught up in the game of question and answers. They had no real answers, so to speak. Because if they did, they would have no more questions.